This is the Huawei Mate 50 Pro drop test. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. What makes the Mate 50 Pro special is the drop resistant Kunlun glass. It's the first ever 5 star glass resistance certified smartphone by Switzerland's SGS. The drop resistance is claimed to be boosted by 10 times. The glass contains billions of high strength nanocrystals making the glass highly impact resistant. But do keep in mind from what I read this Kunlun glass was originally only released on the orange color variant and due to high demand later released in other colors. But I wasn't really able to tell which one specifically aside from the orange color and in which regions they included the Kunlun glass on. The orange color version is also rated IP68 with 6 meters of water resistance for up to 30 minutes. The rest of the colors that don't have the orange vegan leather back are only resistant up to 2 meters for 30 minutes. So let's jump in and see how the Mate 50 Pro does on the drop test. For the first drop, I'll drop it on concrete from waist height onto the screen itself. There are some scrapes on the sides of the screen and some on the corners of the frame, but the screen has no cracks and works perfectly fine. For the second drop, I'll drop it on the screen again, but this time from head height. It impacted the corner of the frame first and not directly on the screen. The frame has a dent and scrapes on the bottom corner, but the glass has no cracks and still works fine. On the third drop, I'll drop it again on the screen from head height, hopefully getting it to land on the screen. This time the screen impacted the floor first and yet again survived the drop. There are no cracks on the screen, just a few more scrapes on the sides. For the fourth and final drop, I'll drop it on the back from waist height. There's a small scrape on the top corner of the vegan leather back and a small scrape on the corner of the camera bezel. Aside from that, there isn't any damage on the back. However, on the front, we now officially have a small hairline crack running from the bottom of the frame where the frame was bent in from the drop. The pressure from the bend in the frame and the impacts from the drops finally got the glass to crack. But this is one tough glass to break, especially considering I removed the included screen protector. The glass did not shatter and the hairline crack can't even be felt when running your finger over it. When comparing it to the Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the S23 Plus and S23 Ultra, both of those cracked on the first drop from waist height on the drop tests I did. In case you're interested in seeing the S23 Plus and S23 Ultra drop test videos, I'll place links in the description. I'd like to see more smartphones carrying tough glass like this, especially for the prices most smartphones cost nowadays. With that being said, that's going to be it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.